I've always felt very strongly about um, the values of having sort of a real world project. And uh, as a teacher, I was most inspired by, there was an architecture professor, his name's uh, Samuel Mockaby, and he, uh, when he was alive, he ran what was called the Rural Arts Studio at Auburn University. And he took first year architects and went out into the rural south and dealt with um, people living in substandard homes and those first year students built them new homes. If his first year students can do it, my first year students can do something. I, I just felt that having a community outreach component not only is, is listed in the values of the university and, and things like that, but it, it's, it's a very real world experience for the students. And so all of those other values of being less attached to your own work. We don't want to be our own collectors of whatever work we're making. But in the beginning of your career, that's that's difficult because you get very invested, you fall in love with what you make, and you don't want to let other people have it. Uh, so that, a little bit of that kind of detachment is a good, good portion of it. Um, it certainly exposes the community to the value of the arts. So it's getting the students' work out there to the world and then having the world and the community appreciate the work that, that you guys are doing. So it, it really functions both ways. I got the inspiration by the backpacks from our campus. Um, and um, when I went to the thrift store, I got the idea to make a backpack because of the jeans. And what I loved most about the jeans was the pocket. And that's what inspired me. And I didn't want to take the character away from the jeans. So I really tried to make a backpack that still represented the pair of jeans because they were a really awesome pair of jeans. And so, yeah. So I make these donut pillows and I sell them on Etsy. So I already knew like how to make them and stuff. And I made it with um, two different colored bathrobes and a bunch of t-shirts. And then I made this little owl um, out of the same bathrobe and then also a little baby's like pants. <laughs> and I don't know, I just, um, I've made these types of things before in the past. And what I was going to originally do for my project didn't work out, so I just kind of like reverted back to this. So that's what I did. I think it made me realize how useful things are, even though we might think they're not useful at first, but you can, you know, create something new, and I think that's really interesting, and it, you know, like gives a lot of new opportunities for things to be made out of. Um, this piece right here, um, I wanted to um, deliver a certain concept, and the concept that I wanted to bring out was uh, Plato's Cave and also uh, Nature's Nest. And I wanted to create uh, more abstract figures based on um, things that you only see in nature like bees and birds and butterflies but i didn't want to use the you know the exact shapes i wanted to um, a lot of viewers to kind of you know interpret itself um, i wanted to have a certain weight and movement to it so that's why i kind of you know had it tilted and i also wanted to have more of an organic and some geometric so that's why i added the thread in the directions that i did this is something that i kind of do all the time I, um, I love seeing like a random object, whether it be a uh, tree branch or you know something I see in a, in a store like this or anything, and then taking it and making it to something else. So it's something that I enjoy doing.